everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and welcome back to another episode of our Liu Bei Let's Play. We pick it up for episode 30. This is our big 3-0 uh, from turn 137 in the autumn season of 217. So, continuing what we're doing for the past few episodes, we are uh, finishing up conquering the northwestern region of China, as well as controlling all of Central Plain. Uh, we have successfully put out a uh, backstabbing by Kong Rong, led by Cao Cao, who passed away of old age uh, last turn. Uh, Cao Cao is down to three territories. Uh, we'll be wiping out his uh, capital one uh, right here this turn. And then we'll swing our armies through Liu Biao, uh, who we're still at peace with, but eventually will turn to war and sweep towards Cao Cao's last remaining two territories. Uh, the Northwest will continue to finish up conquering Dong Peishan, as well as there's a Yellow Turban rebelling here. Gong Du and us actually have really good relationships. Um, they were very kind to offer us peace treaties and non-aggression packs when we needed it, so I'll respect that and not attack them. After we took take control of the Northwest, we'll probably swing around the long way uh, back over here to attack Cao Cao, because these three armies probably wouldn't make it up in time. Uh, Yuan Shu is our ally. Uh, the emperor's seat that was here, uh, led by Liu Zhang, uh, was taken out by a Yellow Turban Rebellion because the city had too high public order. So now the Yellow Turban Rebellion has a capital seat. Liu Zhang died of old age and Tao Sheng took over. So he still has some territories. Uh, we'll be sweeping across uh, through this path right here uh, eventually because this a lot of mountains here. This is the um, traditional territory for Shu and Shu had a lot of mountain path guarding its territory, so it's actually hard to get into it. Uh, we probably will eventually have to go through Gongdu uh, to get into Shu uh, because of the mountains here. Or we can go down the river and sneak across on the bottom. There are options. Uh, there are some small factions still in, in existence, like uh, Shi Hui and uh, Yu Min Xiang. Uh, Kingdom of Wu uh, has bugged out with us since very early in the game because of alliance war we entered. So we are, although at war, we can't attack each other. I'm kind of exploiting that fact. So we are keeping them around. Sun Jian has died. Uh, we assassinated him as long as Sun Quan in our last two episodes with our spy, who is now the Empress of the Kingdom of Wu. So that's a fun thing we can play around with. Uh, Sun Ce defected from their faction very early on and formed his own faction. So you see this pink here is actually Sun Ce. So Wu and Sun Ce has been at war ever since. Um, that's quite funny. Uh, we'll be continuing and jump into their game. Let's start. Um, I think when we ended last episode, yeah, we took care of the Western Front. Uh, Guan Yu, I just sat him here, waiting for whenever we get the all clear to attack Wu. Uh, that's gonna take a while, so he's just gonna be chilling. Alright, Liu Qi's army and uh, Zhang Yan's army are getting ready to fight uh, Cao Cao's army right here. I believe she's the daughter. They are encamped, so we'll kick them off their encampment, let them run. And have Zhang Yan come close, but not go. And then have Liu Qi come. So we'll have both army fighting them. Right, this will be a decisive victory. We're not going to deny battle or else we take out our own reinforcement. We're just going to be starting this battle off. Alrighty, let's set this up. We have a river, uh, but they are starting kind of in the middle of this crossing here. Uh, our reinforcement army is going to come from the back, which is good. Uh, we'll try to pull our army as close to it as possible to buy us more time for those slow tribuches of getting up here. So we'll actually be setting up in this corner right here. And then we'll probably have to use our generals to harass a little bit to slow down their army's advance. Um, this is actually a pretty interesting corner. They have some cavalry, so we have to be careful here. Probably have to guard our lines pretty, pretty carefully. I'm turn off skirmish mode, so if any cavalry slips in, they wouldn't just run away. Mm. 
Alright, there we go. Alright, the flanks are protected. Uh, no one's really absorbing arrow damage, but I don't see many archers. They have very few range units. Three units of range? Maybe there's more, but not that many, so I think we're fine. Our crossbowmen can trade some fires with them. Luckily, Liu Qi has guerrilla deployment, so we could use our cavalry as a bait. We can use them to buy us some time. Like, we could throw them here. Let them see it, so they come running towards it, and then we can just run away and come back to rejoin us later. This buys time for our reinforcement army to set up around our main army. Um, General-wise, Pang Tong should stay with the main army. Um, Xi Ren, his items aren't that great. I feel like Liu Qi is better off running around, and Xi Ren can stay back. We'll have him start like right here to get them to come towards us and he can run towards the cavalry and everyone can run back. I think we're good. We set up everything. Uh, the main army is fine. We just had to turn off his melee so he can start shooting people when they come closer. Let's start. So we want to track their main force to come towards us as we buy time for our main armies. If only a few unit come, we'll just rush them with our cavalry. Like, if that swordman is the only unit they're throwing at us, then we'll kill it. Alright. Meantime, let's get everyone starting to move over here. There we go. Right. He might really only send that guy. Oh, we have our uh, melee cav. They're not very useful in uh, charging enemies, it just lower damage than Vanguard uh, Shock Cavalry, but they are good at absorbing arrow, so they can do that job. Alright, we will try to get these guys not that far up to save them from walking forever. Uh, we'll have them set up hopefully here. This unit can actually switch over to here. Um, spear guards. Actually, no. They need to walk faster to get here. Okay. Just trying to get the flanks right. You Alright, our first army is ready firing, which is great news. Uh, they didn't actually chase Liu Qi, they went back. So we can flank charge them later, they're, not, they're just gonna ignore them. Alright, our melee cavalry is in position. Their job will be to absorb the first round of archer damage and then charge toward the enemy's front. Uh, closing up our front. Zhang Ye can duel anyone if we can get a duel. He might be able to get one. He might want a duel. Cao Jie. Level is a little low, but he has good items. But so do we, so that's fine there. Run our generals up. Yeah, our tribuches are going to be really slow moving. Yeah, that's what we want. Oh, they're shooting at us. Oh, that's a no-no. We're going to be charging at those crossbow units. Um, so it seems like their range units are actually all running over to our um, vanguard uh, cavalry side. We'll be losing some units to range attack, but... We need to shift our cavalry since there will be no more range damage in the front so that they can properly charge off the side. We need to shift all of them into turtle. And then we're good. There's no way they can uh, withstand our charging cavalry. Kill the generals. 
with these two last groups. Alright, let's see if he can do some splash damage once he gets close. Probably against this uh, Jian Swords guards. Whoa, we're losing? Wow. Zhang Yan, really? Cao Zie is a beast? Oh, no. We beat him with a beheading. Uh, Zhang Yan is low health, though. Uh, the front is doing pretty good. We can charge out at the remaining archers. Zhang Yan can mount. After he mounts, we can uh, have him come help. Okay, so they're... If we see here, their infantry is here to grab our cavalry. Time to run out. No need to fight their spearmen. Zhang Yan can chase down some of the retreating troops. Alright, we can charge at their force here. Six men here. I don't know why he's not routing. Ooh, fire arrows right on top of ourselves. Let's do it. We'll split two of them off. And then two of them at the... So we'll just split them off and we'll be fine. They'll wipe out that crossbow unit. We don't actually need to finish this fight because they've already retreated once. Yeah, this group hasn't joined the fight yet. Uh, they probably could have stopped them earlier. But we're fine. Giant's just picking out some kills for fun. Uh, there's a cavalry unit coming at us. We should run away. Maybe this way. And our crossbowmen's are running out of arrow. But that's fine. We have more crossbowmen. Um, so there's just, just this group right here. I think we can now safely pull back our army. And let this group just come towards our ranged uh, setup over there. And we can pick up a few more kills. I think they killed everyone here too. Let's put on them. So yeah, let's run back into our formation. We'll let our other two tribuches have some fun against this group right here. Uh, all our crossbow on this side is done. Firing. He still has arrows. He can shoot at that unit. Alright, he, he's picking up the slack here. And these tribuches are ready too. Yep. They really had no chance against two of our armies. I was surprised that the duel that Zhang Yan has fought was so hard. We have, you know, a silver tier weapon, gold tier unique armor. Why does he have a clay cup? Gold tier horse? Are his items kind of bad? We can switch them off a little bit. Alright, victory! Alright, we beat this army. Since they retreated once, uh, they're gonna be wiped from the field. We captured Cao Langyang, okay. She's rivals with Zhang Yan already? We only fought one fight. I mean, she's young. She is definitely a wife potential. We can keep the Cao family going. Yeah, we're gonna hire her. We want both of those items too. And we're gonna be we unfortunately lost this unit. We didn't grab it when we were running away So he actually was stuck in the middle of their uh, unit. So he actually got wiped. That's our main casualty I, I just didn't see it on the map other than that everything fought pretty cleanly uh, We'll be picking up some Replenishment I guess we really don't need money at this point Okay, so Cao Cao's last remaining force is this force right here defending his capital. Uh, we'll have Sima Yi go down, wipe out Cao Cao's capital. It's just political justice here. We'll stay on our side for a turn to replenish and then wipe out the next turn. Uh, there's no road here. Yeah, there's no road here. So maybe two turns. Yeah. Might be two turns. Zhang Yan somehow went full heal.
I don't understand that. He was clearly injured. Uh, we'll be giving him... Yeah, I guess this works. Although it's not resolve stats, he has pretty high resolves already. Adding some expertise to help him uh, avoid attacks would be good. Any instinct? There we go. Part of the bookkeeper set. 20% peasantry income. Interesting. Uh, we'll give him some instinct to add his offensive capabilities. I think this is the best weapon for him. Yeah. Uh, traits gained. Wow, a lot of people gain traits. Okay, all pretty good traits. Huanzhi got even better. Okay. Um, we can start shifting our armies back. They both still have movement points. So we'll be coming down here. Liu Qi actually can start heading up towards um, Chen again. Because we're about to go to war with Liu Biao. Um, maybe here. Uh, this force is just here to put down rebellions, which is happening quite frequently here, which is totally fine. That's what we want them to do. And then we quickly go through our buildings, which we might have done so last episode already. If so, we're just wasting time here, but hopefully not. Hopefully, uh, Yemen also is going to have a rebellion. It's all the way up here though. Ooh, that might be tougher to deal with. We already have a temple building. Hmm, this one's a little tougher to deal with. We could try to upgrade this with getting one more reform. Two more turns. Yeah, maybe we have to do that. So keep in mind, we might have to get the temple upgrade. Yeah, it seems like all the buildings has been done. Okay, alright, let's continue. Okay, so Sun Ce, our um, coalition partner, is asking us to help him by declaring war on the Han Empire. He will pay us for it. I mean, I'm willing. Han's passive. Um, so maybe I'll accept, see if I break any untrustworthiness. If I don't, I'll, I'll definitely do it. Okay, so still no. So, sorry. Alright, so Liu Bell signed peace treaty with Yuan Shu, that's fine. Our spy is heading towards Liu Biao. Okay, so I think the main reason why we can't actually uh, fight, join the war with uh, Han without breaking our trustworthiness is I think we're actually trading with them, so that could explain a lot. Um, we have some four new characters. Let's take a look at them in court. Uh, 38 old strategists. Clever. Deceitful. Not terrible. Uh, Meng Da, 34 year old, he's weak, okay, maybe not, sincere, cordial, quiet, Deng Feng, tolerant, yeah, I don't think we need any more characters, we're flooded with characters. Uh, what we might need, I mean, this is after the new family and court update, so now we have all these uh, nice family display, so we can see who everyone's wife is. Uh, Lady Liu is actually Liu Qi's spouse. Interesting. Uh, Han Fu is... Okay, so see, now we can see all their spouses. Before this update, we can't. Uh, she's Gong Sun Zan's wife. Okay, we kept her safe for you, Gong Sun Zan, for old time's sake. Uh, we have husband and wife in the same... Okay, we could actually put them together later for the family buff. So, uh, Cao Cao's daughter, I believe, who she is? I'm gonna guess, just because her name and age just works out. We can marry her to our family. Liu Heng is 17. So once Liu Heng gets uh, come of age, I think I'm gonna make her his wife. The age isn't that bad, 22 and 18. And this way we can have some uh, Cao Cao and Liu Bei's uh, family merge together going forward. Let's take a look. We have some level ups, I believe. Or unhappiness. Okay, this is a level up situation. He's just a court noble. 
is level five though. It's pretty high level. Okay. Uh, we I don't know what what are we setting him up for. From his traits, it feels like it could be a mixture of army and uh, commanderies. I really don't need another strategist right now in the army. He already has resourcefulness, so we're gonna just pick up abundance and go down this way. And there's another level up. Uh, he is clearly administrator row. A better administrator row, actually. 100%. Okay, commerce. So we'll definitely go down this, this bottom route as well. Uh, we'll be taking away her items. Overseer. Oh, this is a good item. Okay, we'll give this to someone else. This is also a good item. Okay, so let's see. Who in our armies could use some more cunning? Oh, Pang Tong. Overseer right here. Campaign movement when commanding. Ooh, when commanding though. Sima Yi is actually commanding. So this will work out. And Pang Tong can pick up this guy for more cunning. And then the book is expertise. I don't think we have any uh, sentinels. Oh, Zhao Yun is in our army. He already has one. Alrighty, since he already has one, maybe an administrator who could use some more expertise to make things cheaper. And they already have one. Ah, oh, there we go. Chen Gong. Is he in the army? He is in the army. Uh, is any of our administrators not in the army? There we go. <laughs> but he has something already. Okay, so that's fine. We're done with that. Uh, more trades gain. Liu Heng and uh, Rao Xiang. Okay, rebellion imminent. Yeah, we're ready for that. We saw the new characters. Let's continue with our campaign up north. Uh, Zhuge Liang can attack the capital of Dongpei Shan, Jincheng. Uh, Ma Chao just ran away. Uh, we'll fight this and cut it out because I don't want to take medium casualty here. It's a small city. Uh, we're not going to siege. Uh, we're going to use our tribuches to blast a hole in it and charge it. Alright, we fought a pretty clean siege there. Alright, so we took the capital of uh, Dongpei Shan, uh, Ma Chao, who joined their faction, um, is on the run towards their two remaining territories here. They moved their capital to another horse pasture, who we also really want. Uh, Zhang Fei here can take Anding's uh, city away from the Yellow Turbans. Let's go. Ooh, that's quite a big army. That's quite a big army. So in this case, we have to siege. Hopefully they will come out. Or else we just have to siege them out. Okay, so while Zhang Fei is occupied here, uh, Zhuge Liang will continue and take out these two territories. Uh, level up on Huang Zhu. Um, Zhuge Liang has reached, so I guess, since due to his age, he's 70. Uh, there's a very good chance he's not gonna be with us for long. So we're actually just gonna pick up... Consideration for Encourage to help our morale. Yeah, this, is, this doesn't really matter. He's, he's gonna die soon. Um, let's look at our other armies. So Guan Yu's army, even though you know we're kind of wasting him by sitting him here, there's actually gonna be a use. Liu Yao actually is moving his army back towards his capital. He might actually land and come towards us. So we're gonna trespass, no worries. Uh, we're gonna go head towards our Guangling small city to get prepared for this. So you see how even though we're at war, it says trespass? Because AI think we're not at war. 
it's it's a mess. Alright, we're having Liu Qi get into position to attack Chen. And as soon as we wrap up this fight with Cao Cao. Sima Yi is, might not be able to reach it. Let's see if we can reach it. Oh, we can. Perfect. Okay, so Sima Yi is going to be putting an end towards the Cao Cao dynasty here. Where is this reinforcement army coming from? Hold on, let me continue siege for a second and take a look. Where is the reinforcement army? Can they tell me? Is it like in ambush mode on the side? Okay, maybe it is. It's a level 7 small regional city. So without sieging it down, Cao Long himself is here for this battle. He has his dad's horse. Alright. So they summon quite a sizable army here that's replenishing. They must be somewhere on the side. We will siege for now. It's going to be hard to attack this large city. And then we can have Zhang Yan actually run himself through this area so that we can see where that um, hidden army is. Maybe they will fall into an ambush, which is fine. Their force is so small that... Oh, here, here, we found him. We found him. We found him. Not an ambush, really. Just on the side. Out of vision. Okay, this way, we can split them up. If he runs back in, fine. We'll join our forces together and siege it down. But if he doesn't run back in, we can kill them separately. Okay, so that's good. He's going to be ready for another Zeusi Rebellion uh, this turn. So after this end turn, we'll have a new Rebellion here. Uh, let's look at our buildings. Yeah, a lot of these are just redundant buildings that are done. Uh, Dong... Oh, Dong needs more reforms to unlock new things. Aside of that, I think... Ah, uh, Runan. Okay. Runan is still missing... Oh, actually has all the basic income buildings built. We could give it, like, administrator office so that it can uh, get more income and also eventually help fight corruption. Shine is good. Wait, wait, we're trying to go and level up this conscription building first. Uh, this is about to have a rebellion soon. We need a new reform. Yeah, it's gonna have a rebellion. Yo, Joe, Drone Shine. Yeah. Uh, this is the new city we captured. Let's see what they have. They have a. Uh, oh, this. They build it very well. They build it very. um commerce folks except for this should be this conversion and yeah, that's perfect yeah this is going to be a silk port eventually yeah this is going to be a silk town we're going to get this silk our first silk resource very soon okay let's enter okay interesting Cao Ang ran away but they put administrator here and the administrator and the garrison think they can come out and fight Sima Yi's army in the field which is impossible. They're gonna lose. Even the AI think they're gonna lose. And they're fighting this, which is insane. So let's take this fight to them. Alrighty. Nice and flat snow map uh, to wipe out the enemy. I don't know why they decided they think they can come out and fight us, but they really can't. So I'm trying a new strategy with these horse archers. I'm going to try to keep them to the side, flank over, and shoot from the back. Maybe it will work better. I just haven't found the really good use for them. Uh, that's pretty standard stuff up front. Mm, yep, yeah, something like that. They can charge out of the left flank. Let's go. Yeah, this is their garrison force. They think they can take us. Our goal is to wipe out everyone. No one escaped this fight. Then we take the city for free. Yeah, so they're marching to their doom. Um, he has 
50% armor. Weapon's not so great. Yeah, we can take him. Mm, he might be a little weak. Okay, maybe we'll just we'll fight him with our cavalry and kill him with our cavalry. Let's see, how is our auto fire doing? Pretty poorly. Actually, it's not that bad. They walked their archers first, so their range unit is going to be wiped before they even get to us. Yeah. There goes their... Okay, some of their units are already running. Because we want to not fight the garrison siege battle, we're going to be sending out our cavalry out early so they can catch those uh, escape troops. Although they can rally back right now, so maybe we don't have to rush it that much. But we should start moving up to get ready for that. And these can start coming to the side to get ready for a flank maneuver. Yeah, their range units are wiped out. Their cavalry is coming out to charge. Our crossbowman will shoot at the cavalry. Well, they're shifting all their army towards our cavalry. Hmm, maybe we should pull them back a little bit. We don't want them to get caught. Uh, we're not fighting this. I don't think we need to fight this. Our crosswomen are shooting. Yes. And their cavalry are dying. Uh, the one issue is their cavalry might uh, rout. And if they do rout, uh, what will happen is we can't catch them because they're too fast. Alright, we're about to get charged. We're about to get charged. Time to pull our cavalry to the side. We don't need them to get charged. Nope, decline. We're gonna let their cavalry charge right into our spear and get wiped. What we can do here is start charging out. Uh, these lighter cavalry has 65 speed. Uh, so do they, so I don't know. Alright, time to go. Time to move. Where's our... Yeah, they're, they're on the side. They're not even in this battle. These two can kill the general. We'll let them come towards us for a little bit. Ooh, he has a good splash damage. Let's go kill him. Oh, he came back. That's perfect. Gotta catch that one before he runs off the battlefield. Alright, these guys are pathetic. Not really a threat. Gotta hamstring him. Right, they can kill him. Chase down that group. Right, gotta catch all these cavalry. It's too hard to catch the cavalry. Alright, that's how I can try. Alright, we won this fight. But we're not done here. We gotta make sure all of them die. Spread out our forces. Maybe she can catch them. Okay, we got him. I think they can go to melee, actually. We just need them to run down the enemy. Maybe this group needs someone. Alright, that covers it. We can stop firing because we're going to be hitting our own units. Maybe they can catch them. Maybe they can't. I don't know. It's going to be close. Anything else? Alright, I'm going to cut it out and uh, send us to the post battle screen.
Alright, pretty good win. Uh, we managed to wipe out all their units. There's a few left, but I think the game decided they were wiped. So maybe we can take this city without fighting it. Uh, we captured him. We hate him. Yeah, everyone hates him. He doesn't have any good items. We can take the best one. So let's execute. We will pick up replenishment. Okay, the city that Anding, that um, Zhang Fei was sieging, uh, Yellow Turban, they came out to fight us. This is going to be a lot of men. Hopefully we can uh, beat this with our chibiches. Let's do it. Alright, once again, another wide open plane to fight in. It's snowing, so they'll be slower to walk towards us, so we'll try to hold in a defensive formation. Uh, we'll first make everyone fire arrow, skirmish remote off, and then these two in the middle go back to regular arrow. Actually, we can do fire arrow. It's really gonna be a. Uh, actually, honestly, yellow turbans morale are really high. So I don't know if morale is the best route. We might have to just kill everyone. But the good news is there's probably going to be no flanking because uh, Yellow Turban don't really have cavalries that are significant. Zhang Fen will lead the cavalry to charge an enemy. Zhao Yun will stay in the front for any duels. Alright, we're ready. We don't see them. Did they put themselves really far back? Is this trees or is this shrubs? For oh, this is a forest, so maybe we can uh, hide here. Alright, there are reinforcements here. They're probably coming slowly from this side. Zhao Yun can attract some attention through this side so that they can swing across this way. Also, it prevents them from running into our ambush right here. It's strange that the vision is so bad. I mean, it's snowstorm, but... Is it? Oh, we see them now. Yeah, you see, they have uh, pretty high morale as uh, units. Healer, veteran, veteran. Okay. Well, I'm mistaken. They do have a cavalry unit. Uh, but it's a very basic one. We can deal with this. They have two. Okay. I don't think they see Zhang Fei. Still not visible to them. They see Zhao Yun though. They should come over. This guy might want to duel. Alright, we'll speed this part up. They're just walking towards us. Um, we'll shift our formation a little bit so that it faces them. If you're wondering how to do that, you just hold down control and then use the left and right button to make shift. So I can shift them back a little bit like that. Alright, they're coming to our Zhao so that's good. Zhao Fei can get a clean charge once they approach closer. We don't see the fourth general. Although he's a scholar though. Can scholars duel? Not sure. Because clearly healers and uh, veterans can duel. They just don't want to. Maybe oh, maybe he can duel. Oh my god, he has good weapons. Hold on. Celestial Sword? Are you kidding me? Master Craftsman? Jade Horseman? How does he have such good items? Look at his fellow comrades. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This guy... Loaded. Increased melee attack rate. Increased melee evasion and armor. Maybe Zhao Yun don't want to fight this guy. I mean, Zhao Yun's doing his job. He's leading them closer and closer to our uh, main force here. Zhao Fei is still hidden, so it's perfect. Uh, this reinforcement army is actually really strong. They have all the elite troops. This group is just a mess. So we'll be smashing this group with our trebuchets. 
and relying on our cavalry to wipe out that second group right there. Alright, they're about to enter into our range. Zhao Yun did great. Uh, our tribuchet needs to step it up and fire better. Uh, I, I jumped the gun there, but that's a good spot. It's going to hit most of the crowd. Next shot. There we go. And one more. Oh, they stopped moving. They stopped moving. Perfect. Yeah, stay right there. And they moving again. Alright, we'll go back to fire a will. Run jogging back a little bit. And slow down the game. Our archers can take care of those cavalry. They're going to be entering archer range. Yep, and they start firing. Alright, this army is shattered. Uh, we're not going to be greedy. We can't kill all the garrisons. We still have to siege them out eventually. Just try to fight a clean fight. Minimize our losses here. That's pretty much the goal here. I'm going to fire a shot right into their uh, main units. Because their cavalry is already wiped by our archers. And they stop moving again. Or, yeah, and they clump together. Which is a fatal mistake. Okay, this group has shown up. It's time to start hitting them. Jiang can put an end to any arch, uh, cavalry maneuvers they want to think about. Right, we have not that many shots left. We mainly want to kill the range units here. Actually, we don't need to. We have cavalry to do that. Alright, Jiang can continue to chase a little bit. They can fire at the elite unit there. We're about to surprise them. This is the guy with good items. Gotta watch out for him. Right, the other guy can hit the other units. Giant wiping that group out. Once these get a little closer, I think we're getting there. And the cavalry is running a little bit farther away. It's time to surprise them. Alright, Giant's clean over there. Come back. It's going to be a lot of generals coming. We're running out of ammo, so our cavalry needs to start doing work. Zhang Fei has that uh, roar, which we can use once we uh, charge back into the line. That's once they get engaged, do the maximum amount of uh, morale damage. I'm going to start spreading some of them over. Zhang Fei as well. The other three units more than enough to take care of that one group of archers. This isn't the strong guy. Yes, we'll take this. Uh, this is also not the strong guy, but we won't take it because Zhang Fei is much more useful in the field. Nope. Alright, they're charging at our shield wall, uh, which will take some damage, but they will also uh, not do much against it. If good charge resist, he's really strong. Don't know how to handle him. Our range units are all depleted. We gotta micro our cavalry so they don't get caught by the infantry. Zhang Fei can charge back. Zhao is doing fine. We gotta continue to charge at the archers. Zhang Fei can charge back into these uh, infantry. His roars range is not that high, so. But he does uh, have scare, I think, so we are gonna fear a lot of these units as we charge through them. Zhang Fei's job is to charge back to the front. Zhao Yun here is handling himself very easily. Are we going to see a fatality here? Come on, Zhao Yun. I'm letting the units die for you. Oh, he just ran. Okay, he just ran. Um, charging out farther to pull them away from the enemy infantry. 
Yes, we'll take that duel. All right, Zhang Fei roared. Time to charge back. We'll pick up this guy first, and then we'll pick up him next. Time to pull our units to start fighting them. Remove their armor. Have them fight this OP general now. Uh, the cavalry is going to charge at us. We can't do anything about that. We can maybe pull a counter charge, but that's it. Oh, he is stuck. Come on, guys. Pull, pull, pull. Got a cycle charge back. This group is still shooting at us, but it's only 30 units. John Fei can use his ability. Come on, John Fei. It's actually risky to have Zhang Fei fight duels because once he loses enough health, he actually sometimes uh, routes because of low morale. So morale is a big issue for Zhang Fei. Come on, Zhang Fei, you can do it. There you go. Ooh, nice. Zhang Fei can actually pick up the next duel here. Zhao Yun also, they ran away from Zhao Yun as well. He has good item. Let's go. Zhao Yun can come here. That cavalry got stuck, so we're just going to use these to help our uh, front line who is struggling here. Zhao Yun can charge back. He can use his ability soon. At least we seal off the enemy ability with his uh, stifling deluge right here. Alright, we really need our cavalry to help out this line here. Which we will. Look at that charge. Beautiful. And then the next wave. There you go. There you go. And then the next wave. Alright. Set them up again. We'll get another charge on this group right here. Zhao Yun can mop up here. Zhang Fei is having a close fight. Come on, Zhang Fei. You can do it. Use your ability. Finish him. Oh man, that didn't do enough damage. Come on, don't lose to Yellow Turban. I know he has a really good weapon. Execute him. Execute him, Zhang Fei. He has one HP. Swing at him. Oh my god. Come on, Zhang Fei. One hit. Oh no! Oh wow! Zhang Fei got wiped. Uh, Oaththorn activated. Everyone's mad. He's running away. Alright, so it's fine. Zhang Fei has resiliency. He will live. Uh, but he got away. Uh, Zhang Fei took a hard beating. Alright. That was a tough fight. Can't lie. They're strong. But this guy, the administrator, we got him. We kill him, we get the sword. Let's do it. Uh, these guys are useless. We're killing all the old turbans. We'll take replenishment. Yeah, Zhang Fei took a hard beating. Alright, so Jiangxia, because we were able to wipe out the defense, uh, the garrison unit that Cao Cao sent out, we could capture it for free. No need to siege. Very, very good move here. Uh, Jiangxia being a small regional city though, I will take it. We'll worry about that later. Gaogan declared war on us. Our vassal left us. I don't know why. We declare war on the Han. That could be a trigger point. I don't know. Uh, we got a new horse from our animal tamer. Let's see, how good is the horse? Uh, just a silver red stallion. Not bad, not bad. Picked up some interesting items here. Let's first take a look at Zhang Fei here. Yeah, he took a hard beating. 
so this made him the commander. We're gonna switch him back. Uh, we need to wait to. Well, we don't need to wait, but within this two turn, don't have Zhao Fei die again, or else we lose him for good. And that's not how we want his story to end. Um, we got this new weapon. Uh, it has high uh, attack speed. It's part of the mandate of war, which is actually uh, set with um, one of the strategist weapons. We don't have that armor. The strategist armor. We actually don't have that armor, so we can't do anything there. Uh, we'll continue the siege. They are weak, but they're still holding out. Three turns till supply depleted. Yeah, this is a pretty tough fight. We gotta continue siege this. They put in a new um, ca uh, character as the administrator, so we have another tough fight. They have really good items. I don't know how they have such good items, but we'll continue the siege. Shuge <laughs> Liang here. I know Ma Chao went this way. Oh, Gongdu took the horse pasture. I mean, if he keeps stealing these good territories from us, look at this. There's a horse pasture, silk, copper, silk, jade. He has all the good stuff. I said I'll respect him, but he's kind of taking territory that belongs to me. He needs to watch himself before he wrecks himself. We'll see. We'll debate that when that time comes. One more turn till we finish off. Uh, that territory and then probably one more turn till we finish off this territory once we get one sapling through it might be easier to deal with him so looks like we're not going to be wrapping up the northwestern fight this episode but next episode for sure and then probably continue on to Gongdu. Uh, so we have a rebellion that happened over here in Ye. Um, we just crush it uh, night battle delegate Right? That's what you deal with rebellions. You let them happen, you kill it, you get a little bit of gold, you can pick up more gold or replenishment. It's great in the early game. And sometimes they have items for you to pick up. So this is our enemy now. So I guess it's good we have an army here. This army's not that good, that's the problem. Like, now it's forcing me to actually uh, build this army out the right way. So, Tribuchet, Tribuchet. Let's see what he has. Okay, so archers. Or E archers? It's a little pricier. 42, 28 ammo, 40 and 28 damage. Oh yeah, it's a lot better. Okay, we can afford it. We're gonna lose this uh, faction unique unit. Or we can keep him. Causes scare, guerrilla deployment. Yeah, we'll keep him. It's kind of tough that he's in this position. How does he have E archers? Huan Zhi, oh. Wait, how does he have E archers? We didn't give him E archers. It's interesting. Uh, he is administrator. This is pretty good for him, actually. I think we got Wu Zi. Yeah, right here. Wu Zi. Right there. Mu Zi. Uh, Mu Zi. That's right. Plus four public order. Forge master. Oh, we don't need that set bonus. Um, where's Zhang Fei? Despite you losing in the fight, we'll give you a good horse. Alright, that take care of that. This fight, I don't know if we should walk towards them or not. Maybe we should stay here. There's going to be another rebellion in a few turns. Every few turns it happens. Liu Yao just went back to his capital. We'll just sit in Guangling, then respond to all these areas. Liu Qi is in position. We can attack that next turn. And go to war with uh, Liu Biao. 
We finished up Cao Cao's capital here. He's gonna shift his capital the other way. This is just a farming town. Wow, this is a small regional city. That's a farming town. That's hard to deal with. At least it can help with corruption. That's it borders Changsha, which eventually is a great commandery. Jiangling is not that bad. Runan is actually really good. Lujiang is so-so. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with it. Can't be choosy here. At least I like all the buildings they built. Yeah, not, don't have to destroy any of them. It saves us a lot of gold. Alright, we can go back to standard stance and try to pick up this fight against Cao Long. He's not running anywhere. We're gonna get him. And now that he can't replenish because he no longer has his territory. So I think that uh, wraps up our episode here today. Uh, we wiped out all of Cao Cao's forces here. We're ready to make our move eventually against the Kingdom of Wu. Over here, we're one turn away from wiping out all the forces in the Northwest, but Gongdu keeps taking territory that could have been ours. So we might have to stab him in the back. Uh, or we can sh respect that and just shift our armies down and finish off Cao, uh, Cao Long right here. And as well as join the fight against Liu Biao, who we will start next turn. Gao Gan betrayed us. Uh, Gao Gan's army that was defending our capital betrayed us. We're now at war with him. But we have uh, Kong Rong's army here, who can definitely help protect our capital. Uh, we can also look to move our capital, you know. Putting it here doesn't actually do much for us. We can move it all the way to like here and it'd be super safe. Uh, there's many options. But right now we're good there. Um, yeah, that sets us up perfectly for next turn. We can pick up a new reform as well. So, see y'all then. Bye!